about one month ago the Laikipia women representative honorable Kate Waruguru accompanied by Junet Mohamed walked into Railudinga's office at Capitol Hill and after a lengthy meeting Kate Waruguru announced publicly to the entire country that she was dumping Tim Tanga Tanga and that she was now ready to sing the gospel of the handshake and the building bridges initiative that announcement by Ketwa Ruguru shocked the entire country because Ketwa Ruguru was one of the key players in Tim Tanga Tanga as a matter of fact you could not talk about Tim Tanga Tanga and mention five people without mentioning the name Ket Waruguru. And in Tim Tanga Tanga, Ket Waruguru was actually the defensive player who was always used to attack ODM, NASA, and Raila Amolo Odinga. Ngamia, sasa umeingiza mwili yote, unataka kumeza yule ambaye ni msaidizi wa baba ya jubili ambaye ni Uhuru Ruto. Na sisi tunataka kukuambia hivi kama hauta hauta change hiyo mwelekeo yako we are going to deal with you as the women of this country and the young people in this country we will deal with you because the first obstacle which has actually hindered Raila even to ascend to power ni hizo jia zako za mkato kwa sababu wewe unasoma katiba kama umevuta vitu vingine tunataka uelewe ya kwamba uchaguzi ni ya mwaka 2022 Kenya is not a failed state and there is no room for a negotiated government there is no room for a nusu mkeka government and actually the constitution is very clear there is no procedure ya kuweza ku reappoint tena deputy president not unless you want to tell us you want to impeach the presidency which is composed of the president and the deputy president please mind your own business at your age i know hutaki hutaki biashara ya warembo kujibu wewe tafadhali wewe jipange wachana na wetangula wachana na ruto wachana na jakoyo midiwo na ile shamba iko pale kenya defense forces kakada kenya defense forces college sisi tunajua ule mtu alipapasa akailamba na akaweka title deed kwa law firm yake. Ili you continue that way, we will tell Kenyans who you are na ile watoto ambayo umetupa. And after Ketwa Guru made that announcement she then started attacking the deputy president William Samoy Ruto. She did this using Twitter and using Facebook. But this week, Kate Waruguru for the first time came publicly and attacked the deputy president William Samoy Ruto. And I've listened to the clip by Kate Waruguru and Kate Waruguru had a clear message for the deputy president William Samoei Ruto and also a strong message to Tanga Tanga brigades na nimepea nyinyi mwelekeo kwa sababu mliona nilitembelea Raila nikasikia mmeanza nyenyenya ati sijui nimekuwa sanitized mzoe baba mapema baba ni serikali hilo ndio kweli haya tikiza kidumyo kichwa hapo wewe una leto hiyo asara yako alienda nyumbani kitambo sana na alianguka kwa sababu mkiongozi huku ni uhuru yeye ni mdogo ya rais mdogo yako hata mdogo ya hii pasta anafanya vile senior pasta anasema sabu chief anafanya vile chief amesema mare anafanya vile msai amesema hata wewe unafanya ngenge ngenge mare anafanya vile unasema bibi yako wewe demo yako sasa mwambie ruto is a boy tulize boy kama anataka kufika hapa asibishana na hii yako juu yake kwani akisalimia Raila wewe uko na yake atajikuna si asalimie eh eh hii chiko hiyo unajua hii wazee ni wanoma sana Raila watu yake wanafuata yeye usiku na mchana milioni sita uhuru wako na wakiku yake hii mlima Kenya milioni sita William Ruto wa kalejini yake ni milioni mbili sasa kama uko na milioni mbili lazima ukae vizuri na wale wanaume ambao wako na mtume kwa sababu yako ni kidogo ndio wakusaidia wakupe mbegu kidogo ya kuongeza kura kwani yuko nini hiyo ni tunasema lakini hii story ya kunyoshwa uhuru hapa mkimuita wa mashati sijui mlevi 
hakujongi pombe ya mtu wachana na hiyo mtu huyo alimpelekiwa ya Mungu kwa sababu alivyo Mungu aliona mwagie mafuta na ufanye rais na Biblia inasema mwape heshima wale wako kwa uongozi kwa hivyo sisi tumeambia dunia mzima wale watu wako na tabia ya kutusi uhuru mama Simba nitakutana na hawa nitawagwara nikirudisha hawa ndani ya msitu waondoke town wacha kuzunguka watu Now that's Kate Waruguru. And what message was Kate Waruguru trying to send out there? Before we go into that, let me just mention something here. The war in Jubilee is not going to end anytime soon. And personally at some point I thought that the president was actually done with his deputy. But from all indications that war is not going to end soon. The president and his allies are keen on removing the remaining allies of the deputy president William Samoei Ruto from Jubilee party. Remember the president began by removing his allies from the National Management Committee. And in that committee, the president forced the names of five people. There was Lucy Nyagute Masharia, then there was Professor Mare Marete Marangu, and then there was Walter Nyambati, there was Jen Namposo and James Waweru. And when President Ru Kenyatta held the, hosted the Jubilee Parliamentary Group meeting, one of the things which I expected the president to do was to make a major announcement as far as the neck of Jubilee party was concerned. But the president did not make any changes to neck. And I was wondering why. And I thought probably that the president was waiting for the right time because NEC, Jubilee NEC had was actually being controlled or was leaning towards Team Tanga Tanga. But in his own wisdom, the president did something which was very funny and most people did not see it. He removed Kipchumba Murkomen from the majority leader at the Senate. He then went ahead and removed Susan Kihika as the majority whip at the Senate then came to the National Assembly, removed uh, Ben Washiali, and then he went and later on removed Eden Duale. So he removed those four people. And by removing those four people, what happened technically was that the president now took control of Jubilee Party. But still there were some people who were allied to the deputy president who are still members of NEC. For example, this is the deputy secretary general, Caleb Kositani. So the president and his allies are planning to get rid of Caleb Kositani and this, the, the treasurer, what's the name of the treasurer? I, it, I think it's someone Mutai, who was now the only official supporting the duty president. And once that's done, the president will take full control of Jubilee Party. And this is going to be done very, very soon. But back to Kate Waruguru. What message was Kate Waruguru trying to send? Because if you listened to Kate Waruguru's speech, in fact, at some point, Kate Waruguru had to kneel down and address the youths while kneeling. And by the time she was done kneeling and appealing to them, they were actually clapping for her. So what message was Kate Waruguru trying to pass around? In my view, Ketwar Guru was passing around four or five, uh, five messages if you listened to the clip very keenly. The first thing Ketwar Guru talked about is the politics of numbers. And that begs the question between Uhuru, Ruto, and Raila, who has the numbers? And according to Ketwar Guru, William Ruto controls two million votes from Rift Valley. Raila Odinga controls close to 6 million votes in his supporters from his strongholds. That's actually the number of votes he got despite the rigging. And according to Ketwa Ruguru, President Uru Kenyatta also controls a large number, a large percentage of the votes. So Ketwa Ruguru advice to the deputy president and to his allies was simple. You know so well you don't have the numbers. So you must allow yourself to speak to Raila Odinga and speak to President Uru Kenyatta. 
then if one of them will decide to support you, then you can become the president. But without their support, you cannot become the president of the Republic of Kenya. So that message was very clear from Ket Waruguru. The second message which I'm getting from Ket Waruguru, she's actually appealing to the people of Central Kenya to start accepting the fact that Raila Odinga is now in government and that Raila Odinga is government himself. In fact, he was telling them that when she, when she went to Raila Odinga's office, people baptized her as having been sanitized. And according to Ketu Waruguru, Raila Odinga is now government and part of the government. And he was telling, she was telling the people of Laikipia, where majorly the Kikuyus and majorly the Masai, he was she was telling them that you must start accepting Raila Molo Dinga as the president or as government. So probably Ketu Waruguru has realized that Uhuru Kenyatta might actually be leaning towards Raila Amolo Dinga in 2022. And if not the case, then she's very clear that as things stand today, Raila Odinga is the one who controls the government. So that's something which also came out very clearly from Kate Waruguru's statement. And also reading the third thing, I think President Ru Kenyatta and Raila Amolo Dinga are about to begin a tour of the entire Central Kenya region, including Laikipia. Remember, Laikipia is where, where the former cabinet secretary, Mongi Kiyunjuri, comes from. And one of the people who was behind Ketwar Guru most of the time was actually Mongi Kiyunjuri. So I had expected Ketwar Guru to defy President Uru Kenyatta by sticking with Mwangi Kiyunjuri. But this has not happened. So if you listened to what Ketwar Guru was saying, Ketwar Guru was actually preparing the ground for a possible coming or visit by Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta. And when she went down, that's actually what she was asking these people to do. To accept that Raila Kikuya na Uhuru wakaribeshwe. So I'm, I'm looking at a situation where Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta are likely to go to Laikipia for a major function. So something tells me that when Ketu Waruguru met with Raila Odinga, and he has, she has been meeting with Raila Odinga, of course, even when people were claiming that Raila Odinga met with Anwe Guru, he actually met with Ketu Waruguru. So my thinking is that there is a planned BBI meeting. If not BBI meeting, then a tour by Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Mondo Dinga in Laikipia and the larger central Kenya region. Number, number four, the fourth thing which came out very clearly out of Ketwar Guru, because you know Ketwar Guru was an insider in Tim Tanga Tanga, is the respect to President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. I think Ketwar Guru has realized that Tim Tanga Tanga were focusing themselves so much on attacking and destroying President Uhuru Mange Kenyatta. And that's why she was emphasizing that you can't, if someone is up there, kama uko kwa nyumba, lazima bibi ayeshimu, mzee. Kama uko kwa party, the party leader must be respected. So, and she even went further and talked of kitu like vile wanasema Uhuru ni mlevi, Uhuru wa, wa mashati, you know. So, Ketu Waruguru having been part of Tim Tanga Tanga is now telling them that the reason why personally I've left and why you guys, I'm going to fight you, is because you don't respect President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. So the, as, the aspect of respect for the president is there. And I think the deputy president, in my view, has always tried so hard not to be seen to be disrespecting President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, even when he's provoked. But the mere fact that an insider like Ketu Waruguru is now coming out openly, to talk about this disrespect. And yesterday, there was also this, I, I saw something online about Kimani Shungwa when he was being exposed that whenever he goes in central Kenya, he's telling people that the president has done nothing. So the president people and those who are opposed to him actually went around the constituency 
took photos of projects like there was that market, first class market, and they took some roads which are being undertaken by the government of President Uru Kenyatta. And now they were challenging Kimani Ichungwa, why he always insists that the president has done nothing. And they were challenging him, if the president has done nothing, then it means him as a member of parliament has actually failed. So, in my view, the respect, the aspect of respect for the president came out very clearly. And lastly, which was the main point I picked, Ketu Aruguru was very clear. That ata kwa wale wanye, wanatingiza wakubaliane na mimi, one thing you must know, that guy is not going to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. This is someone who was an insider saying that the deputy president, William Samuel Ruto, is not going to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Is there someone who influenced Ketwa Ruguru to dump the deputy president? So those are the questions. And this person, how did he manage to convince Ketwa Ruguru that William Ruto is not going to be the next president of the Republic of Kenya? That's something which probably with the time we will get to know. But that's my take. And in my next video, I want to look at something which is very interesting. You know, there is what is called loyalty. And there is what is called historical loyalty. And in my next video, I want to look at how that historical loyalty to Kano might actually force President Ruru Kenyatta not to support William Ruto and Raila Molodinga. And why the president might actually be, will actually support Gideon Moy instead of these two people. I'm going to use theories to explain the aspect of historical loyalty. Question. Was Kalonzo Musioka loyal to Moy? Yes, until Moy retired. Died actually. Was Musalem Davadi loyal to Moy? Probably yes, until Moy died. Was Uhuru Kenyatta loyal to Moy? Probably yes, until Moy died. Because even in 1997, Uhuru Kenyatta contested Gatundu South, member of parliament, on a Kanu ticket. So he was loyal. And is Gideon Moy loyal to Kanu and Moy? Yes, Gideon Moy is loyal to Kanu and Moy. Even when Mo, when when Kanu when Jubilee was being formed to merge, Gideon Moy refused to merge that political party. So he's loyal. What about William Ruto? Was William Ruto loyal to Kanu and and and, and President Ruto, President Moy? William Ruto was in Kanu, not because he was loyal, but because he was a, a, a man from Rift Valley. And at some point, he disagreed with Moi. That explains why he left Moi Kanu and joined ODM. And it explains why even Moi did not want to meet him when he was sick and until he died. What about Raila Odinga? So I'm going to explain why I strongly believe that that historical loyalty to Kanu and to Moi could actually be the reason why Uhuru Kenyatta is not going to support William Ruto and is also not going to support Raila Amolo Odinga. Thank you guys. And until that time, let's meet again. But if you are watching this video for the first time, please take a second and hit the subscribe button there so that next time you produce a video like this, you'll automatically get notified. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Thank you.